Big news from China, a chip revolution in the making Huawei has officially started testing a new EUV, extreme ultraviolet lithography machine. And this could be a game changer for the global chip industry. This machine developed in China is currently being tested at Huawei's research lab in Dongguan. If all goes well, trial production is expected to begin by late 2025, with full-scale manufacturing starting in 2026. EUV machines are essential for producing the most advanced computer chips, like seven nanometers, five nanometers, and now three nanometers. These tiny chips power smartphones, artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicles, and more. Until recently, only one company in the world had the capability to make EUV machines, ASML, based in the Netherlands. But since 2020, ASML has stopped supplying EUV tools to China due to US sanctions. These restrictions were designed to keep China a decade behind in chip making. Companies like Huawei and its partner, SMIC, were unable to access the tools necessary for producing advanced chips. But China didn't stop. They invested billions into homegrown technology and began building up domestic talent. And now their persistence appears to be paying off. This new EUV machine may be part of China's highly secretive 3 nanometer chip strategy. If Huawei succeeds, it won't just reduce China's reliance on foreign tech. It could completely reshape the global semiconductor industry. The Tech Twist LDP, a new light source for EUV. Here's where the story gets even more interesting. Huawei's EUV system doesn't use ASML's LPP, laser-produced plasma method. Instead, it's based on something new, LDP, laser-induced discharge plasma. So how does LDP work? It vaporizes tin placed between two electrodes, then blasts it with high-voltage electricity to generate plasma. That plasma emits EUV light at exactly 13.5 nanometers, the precise wavelength required to etch circuits at the 3 nanometer scale. It's incredibly complex, and but also very smart. This method could allow China to produce EUV machines that are smaller, simpler, and cheaper than ASMLs, which currently cost over $350 million each. Reports suggest that Huawei is already testing this technology at its Dongguan facility. SME, China's leading lithography company, filed a patent for this LDP-based method back in 2023, and now that patent is becoming reality. Trial production is just months away. If successful, mass production in 2026 could unleash a wave of Chinese-made 3 nanometer chips, defying global sanctions and rewriting the rules of the game. A coordinated push. And it's not just Huawei. SMIC is also involved, working side-by-side -side on advanced chip making. Meanwhile, another research team in Harbin successfully developed an EUV light source at the 13.5 nanometer wavelength in early 2025, as reported by the South China Morning Post. Clearly, this is a coordinated national effort, and it's moving fast. But why is 3 nanometers such a big deal? Because smaller chips mean more processing power, lower energy consumption, and higher speed. Phones could run AI models directly on the device. Self-driving cars could process data faster, and make smarter decisions. Even quantum computing could take a leap forward. At present, Huawei is already using seven nanometer chips in its AI and smartphone products. That's impressive on its own. But three nanometers is where Apple and TSMC currently operate. If Huawei can produce three nanometer chips independently, it could tip the balance of tech power worldwide. A new player in EUV, ASML, currently holds a monopoly in EUV technology, supplying TSMC, Intel, and Samsung. But if China's EUV system proves reliable and cheaper, that monopoly could be at serious risk. Skeptics remain. In December 2024, ASML's CEO claimed that China was still 10 to 15 years behind in EUV. Maybe. But the gap is clearly narrowing. SMIC has already surprised the world by producing 7 nanometer chips under sanctions. If they achieve 3 nanometers by 2026, it could be a turning point. Still, challenges remain. EUV machines require extremely precise mirrors, lenses, and software. It took ASMO decades to perfect. Huawei is essentially building everything from the ground up. To accelerate the effort, they've even opened a major new R&D center in Shanghai, bringing in the country's top engineers. President Xi Jinping has declared semiconductor independence as a national mission. And now this EUV breakthrough shows that China is deadly serious. Big voices in the tech world, like Mki Go and Amuang, are saying the same thing. China isn't just catching up, it's aiming to lead. Final thoughts Huawei's EUV trials are real. The three nanometer project is alive and accelerating, and China is pushing toward a major technological revolution. Will they surpass the West? It's too early to say. But one thing is certain, the game has changed. 
This is no longer David versus Goliath. This is Goliath building his own slingshot. By late 2025, the world will know whether this machine truly works. Until then, the entire tech world is watching.